Well, welcome back to my studio. I am going to paint the Texas flag on the roof of this barn. The white portion is, I'm using mixes of white plus a little bit of ultramarine blue plus a tiny bit of cadmium orange. Just, I don't want this to be pure white. It's got a little bit of a um, gray in it because these old roofs, they're tin and they get some little rusty. This has a little more cadmium orange in it. And besides, this part of the roof is not getting as much sun. The sun's coming in from the left and the upright portion of the roof does not receive as much sun as the flatter portion. So this portion down here will be lighter and brighter. So my white here is not going to be a pure white. And the tin is in sheets, long sheets probably depending on the, the particular pieces of tin. Some are two feet wide, some are three feet wide, some are four feet wide. So there's the variations in The, the shades, the stri I guess there's I'm not sure how to say this. I guess there's striations in between the different sheets, but it's it's not just a solid surface. And I can even using the side of my brush, I'm going to brace my hand on my mall stick, which hooks over the top of my easel, and I can just do some little you can see that brush is, even though it's square, it's thin, so I can use that to make some of the little grooves in between the, the pieces of tin. And even within the long sheets, there's, there's variations in colors. These old barn roofs are, are really cool. And I don't want this to be one that's just freshly painted. I want it to be have some age to it, be a little weathered. So it's got a little rusty feel in it. And uh, so I just kind of drag some warmer color, <coughs> excuse me, some warmer color into that. Okay, that's the white portion. Now the red portion of the Texas flag is a mixture of alizarin crimson plus white. And again, I can use the sideways part of my brush to make this. And again, I, it's not all the same value. There's some variation within that. Because even the pieces of tin, they're not, they don't lie flat, so they rumple up and so you get some variation in the, in the shades just because of the way the light's catching. And then along the edge there will be a little highlight. So mix a little bit more white into that alizarin crimson. Again, I can use my mall stick to brace my hand. And that even that edge is not even. Because again, these sheets don't all lie totally flat. Now the blue part, clean my brush out. The secret to clean color on your canvas is a clean brush. So this is ultramarine blue plus white. Actually, I need to make the shade a little bit darker. And when I drew this painting up on the canvas, I washed in the blue of the flag in with ultramarine blue plus liquid, and the red is alizarin crimson plus liquid, and that's now dry. So that just gives me a base, which I can just come back and paint over. And it helps fill in all those little grooves and texture of the canvas so you don't have those little white white specks in there. But again, I don't want this to just be a smooth color. I do want some variation within it. 
You can see how I can just use the edge of that brush to work around my, my star. And it really helps having all these, like the design of the star, everything all worked out before I begin painting. So in my initial oil wash sketch, I make sure to work out all those details. So then when it comes to painting, I can just paint. The lower portion of this roof is more sun catches it, so it's a little bit lighter. There's a little fascia board. And I need to mix a little white into that ultramarine blue. It'll make a little bit lighter mixture here. And this leading edge will be a little bit lighter. It actually needs more white in there. And the leading edge of the upper part will also be a little lighter because the sun's hitting that. And I'm going to highlight this with white on this edge. Now we'll make the white. My darker blue here. I didn't get up quite get this. I can put a couple of the seams in there between the individual. Ten panels. Ten sheets. Sheets of ten. There we go. And now I'm using my same white that I used back here for the star. Again, this more upright part is not going to be as white as the part that's getting more sunshine. Again, that's, I'm just put a little bit of a different texture color in here particularly down here where the two come together. And then now I'm using my pure white here on this lower portion. I'm going to use a little bit smaller brush. It's getting a little tight there. So this is how we paint the roof of the barn. Paint that Texas star on the barn. Our flag is so pretty, I just love. I, I, may, I was not a born Texan, but as they say, I moved here as quickly as possible and became an adopted Texan. So that's how we paint our Texas flag on the barn. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos. I really appreciate you following along today to see the entire step-by-step -step process of this painting. Just click on the link in the description below. That will take you to the first blog on this piece. There, there are several episodes. And just you can follow through at the very top of that blog. There will be a little title up on the right-hand side. Click on that to go to the next episode. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. I, again, really appreciate you watching. And just be nice to somebody today. Practice kindness. You just never know how much you're going to affect somebody's life. Thanks again. Bye-bye.